Hello and welcome to the PM Show, your weekly roundup of what's new and going on in the PM Store. How are we doing this morning, gentlemen? We all good? Fine, thank you very much. Good morning. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. morning. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Who are? No Who's going to do it? <laughs> the order. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Anyway, we trust you're all doing very well. Another busy week at uh, PM. Uh, obviously, we've been continuing our sale, which we'll look at in a moment. Uh, we've been ordering new items, which will be in in the future. So that's good. All exciting stuff. So we're very excited about those things coming ahead. Uh, and he's been working very hard behind the scenes, getting all ready for some of the new products. Been beavering away, yes? Beavering away. Beaver. <laughs> 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 His keyboard would be wearing out. He need a new keyboard uh, and everything. And Matt, as you can see, we've got some new bits and pieces in there as well. So that's yes. good. Um, yes. uh, we've got some new uh, pre-orders that have gone up as well, which is all exciting stuff. So things are beginning to move again. But again, I wouldn't hold your breath for this quarter, shall we say. It's always a bit quiet, the, the early summer one, as we say. It tends to be a bit Q2, a bit quiet, to say the least. Uh, I think these things happen in sort of you know, in the media world of modelling, isn't there, at last? Mm. You know, Suzuka's on. Yes, we've got the Suzuka show at the moment, which is obviously used to be the thing, wasn't it? It used to be, back in the day, the Suzuka show was the one you would wait for, because obviously all the good sort of, you know, um, sort of China manufacturers, obviously Japanese manufacturers, that's when they would release. And you knew Tamiya would come out with something as well, but clearly not this year by the sounds of it. Uh, but it used to be the thing, they'd have it in their hand, wouldn't it? So you knew it would be done, boxed, and within a couple of weeks, you'd get your hand on it. But as we've seen over the last few years, that seems to have stopped now. They seem to just be released. And then they, they, you know, they come out throughout the year. Instead of it being the big, later on this year, we will be releasing X, Y, and Z kit. You used to get all excited about. So in some ways, I miss that. I used to like that thing of the anticipation that it's coming out. You know it's going to be coming out later this year. And you'd wait for it to drop. But uh, I don't know, these years, you know, with social media, I think it's the thing. You get released on social media or leaked in some cases and uh, you lose that excitement of, oh, what's going to be at the show? So never mind. The, the only thing I've seen is the um, Zukamori 30 second zero button. I mean, they'd already announced that anyway, haven't they, sir? So. Yeah, and they obviously, with the Wild Weasel, the F4G, yeah. that had already been... Uh, announced yeah. as well so we knew that was coming out so but again Zuckamori seem to be moving along quite nicely with these kit yeah. releases which is nice so there's yes, a few yeah. there I mean they're doing the 190 aren't they in 30 seconds they're doing yeah. the A and the D's apparently or from what I've mm -hmm. read there's a Japanese 30 second fighter a Tony oh is that zero I thought it was a Z zero no it's a KI 100 I think yeah. which is mm -hmm. a Tony they're doing um, obviously the G Wild Weasel Mm -hmm. which you've said and um and then obviously the 109s do isn't it yeah at some point so yes. which is out i think or it's coming out so that should be doing this year so i think yeah that's quite good and then the other thing that was i've seen was the fine mold stuff a yeah. few new releases another version of the tomcat which is an iranian one and the f4s i think they're doing an iranian f4 phantom mm -hmm. but yeah i mean i think i still think there's probably going to be some more announcements i don't know is it, is it actually on now or is it I'm at the loop with social media, so I haven't seen anything on it yet. No doubt it will be uh, up. I don't know if it's actually this week. I don't know, because, yeah... It, it... Well, the photos I saw from Zucamori looked like it was their stand, so... Mm. I thought yeah. it was actually on. Obviously, we heard note from Hazagawa or... You know, not that... You know, it might be another boxing with some more decals, you don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> what, another decal sheet? <laughs> another decal sheet to buy, but yeah. <laughs> I know, but for their own market, they normally release something that, you know, we don't get, isn't it, really? Mm. So, yeah. yeah. And um, some of the other Japanese companies as well, so... Don't know, we'll have to keep an eye out, but yeah, we know, like I say... Oh, I'll tell you what they are doing as well, that was it. They're doing the Henschel um, Tsukimori, this is, with a big cannon underneath. Oh, right, yeah. The, the HS-129, big... is it? Mm-hmm. Didn't they bring that out? No, this is a different version of it. They did the other version, and this is the one with the big bloody grep. <laughs> I thought yeah. it was the, the year it's like a tank turret hanging out the front. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah the, 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 there are barrels as long as the plane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was fun to fly. <laughs> no Zebby. <laughs> so when you fired that, but you got right kicked back. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're doing a version of that as well. So, yeah, I think it's slowly happening. And obviously, ICM, as you can mm -hmm. see. Look. Very nice. As um, 
are thankfully back, like we said. So we've got this in, which is the glider version of the Gotha. Yes. Very nice uh, indeed. As I say, yeah. it's nice to see that they've uh, obviously got things up and running again. Yeah, absolutely. I say I think the only other version of that was an Italy one from like, like the yeah. 70s, probably a long mm. time ago. So something different. They did a mm -hmm. power version as well, I do believe. But uh, but yeah. So you see your little waffer. There you go. Look. Here you have it. Yeah, so you can build a transport glider. Mm. So, yeah. Some are, some are different, definite. Mm. And then the uh, Airfix as well have re-released a couple of days in different boxings, I take it. Yeah, we spoke about these last week, wasn't it? So uh, this is the Mark, was that five, six, seven, eight, 18? Uh, so that's <laughs> the Griffin powered, I do yeah. believe. Uh, yeah. Spit as well, very nice. So yeah. do you, look, Nathan could do that. Got the Indian one down there, look. To yeah. go along with his... Uh, Sea Fury, isn't it? Sea Fury, yeah. Hmm. It's Tempest. So got... Tempest, yes. Yeah, the one that looks like a Sea Fury, but it's actually a Tempest, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That'd be the one. Yeah. And obviously, uh, the, the the Mark 12 uh, as well. Yeah, the Mark 12 Spit. They've got to right. cover every Mark now, haven't they? Surely. There can't That's be many left say. that they haven't done. So which engine's that one got? Because it hasn't got the longer nose, but it, it's got the lumps like the Griffin had. I thought the, a, oh no, perhaps it doesn't have a longer nose. I thought I'd perhaps something in the later ones, but you say the banding sort of disguises it a bit. But yeah, no, it's a shorter nose section on these. But obviously that's the bubble top one. And obviously it's the standard sort of Mark 9 with the, the engine difference, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Again, spit yes. tires and yeah. yeah. Yes, Philip, yes, yeah. I totally agree with what you've just said. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah. they're a minefield. I did yeah. notice that Airfix have also released a, another Sabre. Oh, um, is that the one with the wings on it? Yeah, that'll be wings as well. So, yeah, it's like Spitfires <laughs> with engines and it's Sabres with wings, wings isn't it? Yeah. There's so many different versions and little bits and differences between them. It's a nightmare to try and keep up. I'm sure there's people who know, and I, in my, I tip my hat to you, who oh, know okay. by just a glance... Yeah. what version what mark and all yeah. the rest of it is but yeah for the uninitiated like me i look at them and it's like mm -hmm. i just know spitfires canopy difference obviously and then you know lumps on engines is griffins and that's about it but i do know that, you know there's the different configurations and marks and sub variants and stuff goes on and the saber i thought was just an f86 saber until last time and it was like no depending on what hour of the day it was made would be what version it's got and what wasn't wings it, it's got. And, wasn't it oh. when John was going on about was building? Was it John that was building one and they were looking at mm. different wings and things? Oh yeah, 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 ridiculous. But it, it, you always tend to think like what market is depends on you know what it is, isn't it? But yeah. it turns out the same is a little bit different because as they were doing them, they all had different wings. So yeah. it's it's yeah. crazy, and you can buy chart or there's charts online, isn't it? And it's the same week, and there's ten different wings were manufactured in that even one week, and it's like, oh, that's got to be so confusing. So it as if you're going to yes. produce one as a kit, hmm. but you know Absolutely. the backlash you'd get if you produce one and then you put the wrong decals, decals in it, that in it. wing version yeah. or whatever, then you'd be, oh dear, that's not going to go down very well, is it? Hmm. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, it's got the clip wings as well. Now I'm noticing it and looking at it a bit That's more. It's got the clip wings as well. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, the Mark 12's got the clip wings, Griffin engine. There you go. So that makes it a Mark 12. But well, then, yeah, but then you, I bet you can get a Mark 12 without with the electric yeah. wings. Yes. Are you Probably. wiki in this by why we're doing this? To no, find... I bet, I bet... Yeah, is he there? He's there with wiki with all of them up there. All the <laughs> no, I'm a new to be honest. <laughs> Me now, I'm literally just looking at the box on the other screen. I've got it on the big screen yeah, and I'm no. looking at it thinking, oh, he's got clip wings as well, that one. Yeah, <laughs> i tell you what. I bet you it comes in both. Hey, you never had this proper room with Eske? No, this is true. If you were watching the show yesterday, that was the thing. We were discussing Esky, uh, you know, the rise and fall of Esky in Which 12 was years quite or whatever it was. It was, they were only in 12 years, wasn't it? Making yeah, kits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, not a vlogcast, podcast, whatever you want to call it. Yes, uh, not, a, not a podcast, more of a vlogcast show. <laughs> yeah, it was all Esky yesterday. Yes, we were discussing Esky and how you can still buy their kits today. Oh, yes, yeah, God, yeah, literally buy it through Italeria. Yeah. I was actually looking at Italeria's catalogue today. Mm. Mm. Uh, 
on the site, and I'm thinking, that's an old Esky kit. There's mm. an old... I'll tell you what you can still get, though, which will be winging its way to you soon. Oh, right, thank you. <laughs> yes, so you better get on and get all your aftermarket for it. Right. The so Viking? Yep. Yeah. I tell you what, it's funny because we are terrible. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stop doing shows with you because you're a nightmare. But it is that thing because I actually did go to a certain place as well, looked at all the aftermarket for it, and thinking, oh yeah, it'd be quite nice because you could do the bays and you've got yeah. the bits there and the engines so and you've got the panels. It's not just black dog, is it? It's that metallic detail to a Yeah, to. I know, I know. I thought it was black dog who did it, but it's not. Yeah. And they do some great stuff for it. Yeah. Nice plug-in stuff as well. You're just removing panels and you can make that kit look really, really nice. And there's some very nice decal options as well. So <laughs> I think it's mainly the engines, isn't it? I mean, it's the problem. Just need to yeah, you can get replacement ones of that's yeah. fine. And you can get replacement, uh, you can get it. So it's a later version. So it's got like the sensors and the various yeah. things on it as well, which is quite nice. So you can bring it right up to date. Um, but yes, it's definitely one of those where it's like, oh God. <laughs> one, one of it, look, it looks right there, doesn't it? It looks a nice yeah. looking. Aircraft. I like the Viking. I actually like a Viking. Yeah. I don't know why. It, it is a funny looking aeroplane in the grand mm. scheme of stuff yeah. around then. But uh, yeah, out with big engines hanging off it, you know, mm. like the old A10. Because mm. the funny thing is, it is the same engine. Like the it. same engines, uh, uh, the, the TF, whatever it is. <laughs> Is the one that's on the Viking is the same that's the out on the A10, yeah. so that's why they sort of sound the same when they get thrown off the carrier. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, it, very very interesting. But no, it's really good to go back on yesterday's show and looking at these older companies, and then amazed how they're still here. We are decades later, being reboxed by other manufacturers, and they still stand up. You know, to the yeah, they, the they, I mean, they're a bit basic. You built the F4 Phantom, didn't you? The Israeli mm. one, which was an old Esky kit, but it's today reboxing, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you finished it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it's that's still got it. It's in my cabinet, yeah. Mm. But it looks it turned out all right, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it yeah. probably needs a cockpit or at least some seats, doesn't it? Because always, if I remember, the seats were always really crap. Yeah, they are. Yeah, <laughs> let's be honest, yeah. they were crap seats. I think the, mm. the biggest issue with it is. Phantoms, especially, have come on a long way since that came yes. out. Oh, the because yeah, it, yeah. it's literally just two halves together, so you've got yeah. a big seam line down the centre. Yeah. Whereas no other manufacturer really does it that way nowadays, do they? No. It's so all like, you know, either cover the back up with a piece yeah. or, a panel. Yeah. It's, you know, or it's top and bottom. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's, of, it's of its day, though, but mm -hmm. again, it's, it looks like a Phantom, doesn't it? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the good thing yeah. is, how many, have you still got the old decals for it? Yeah. So you got how many skins? Huge that decal one? sheet for it. Then. Yeah. Massive. That's it. Today. So you got a massive yeah. decal sheet. With yeah, it. I don't know because it came. It was the Israeli one. It was boxed as, wasn't it? So hmm. I can't remember what it came with. It's a film by other versions, though, like yeah. a Turkish one or a German one. It's a, it's a, it's a RF yes. Phantom, isn't it? So hmm. yeah, I can't remember what it came with. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I regret anyway. as usual. Yes, very good. We're good at right. that. <laughs> So, okay, uh, that's uh, obviously if I just go back to our, oh, hold on, can't do it, it's going to throw me in a loop. There we go. So, new arrivals this week. Let's yeah. Say, there's not much that actually come in this week and say we've got some pre-orders we'll talk about a little bit later, but the yeah. spits are in, the Gothams are in, we're getting the first of the fine mould stuff's coming in uh, and stuff like that. But as I say, we've, we're sort of waiting on stuff to come through as always, uh, but hopefully we've got a little bit of movement happening soon yeah. on various items. But as you can see, we've got all of those down in there. Uh, we've still got the 25% sale, mega sale, which you guys have been stripping us out of very nicely. Uh, so don't forget, it's 25% off of all of this stuff down in here. Keep yeah. checking back. So some nice classics in here as well. Uh, and we were talking about cars and vehicles on the show the other night. So yeah. lots of those. Very good. And obviously the dragon stuff. So yeah. Yeah, it's going. Dragon's going. It is, it is great. Yeah. Selling. Mm -hmm. And again, yeah. some really nice stuff down amongst all of that as well. And again, for your figures. Yeah. Obviously, what we need is some Esky figures. No, no, <laughs> we really don't. Trust them. <laughs> no. oh, right. Okay. Perhaps we don't need those to come no. back ever. No, they, they're definitely showing their age. <laughs> Esky very, figures. But yeah, very nice. A bit of Italy left as well, and a bit of Rogan. So yeah, it's, it's getting there. It's uh, so it's, it, it will stay up until it's gone. Yes. Gillette, or we pull it and we'll auction it on one of our auctions what's left. So that's yeah. that's how it is. So grab it 
Uh, there we go. That's the big. But as I say, it's limited time on this one. When it ends and all the rest of it, we can't say. It, it'll be... It's limited time, but it's running till it ends. Yeah, it goes till it goes. <laughs> yeah. But no, it won't. Because at some point, that's what we'll do. We'll we'll pull this and it'll become a member's auction. So yeah. uh, be even better bargains just down in there. So we got yeah. that one down in there. Uh, special offer section. Yeah, just to think on this, special offers. For what's up now, we'll be getting changed out this week. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you do want anything that's there, I would grab it either well, when this goes up, so tomorrow, but by Friday that will be changed out. Obviously the damaged stuff down the bottom will stay up again, yeah. unless we pull that to auction it at some point as well. But yeah, a lot of that will be back to normal, back in its normal place and then swapped out for some other stuff that we've got. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we've got some great stuff down in there and I will do this afternoon the review for this one as well for the MD500 because uh, Matt sent me that one down so it's a great kit and I'm going to do the review of that one and that's going to yep. live in my stash for a future build so we like that kit looks very very nice indeed so as I say if you want to get a bit of better view of that one hang around and uh, obviously that one will be up later. Couldn't you just backdate that to the one I've got? Uh, I don't know it depends on which it's version here. have you got? The Vietnam one, which I can't no, remember. No, I think it has a different tail. It has it's got like a different the V-tail off the back. This has got the twin and also it might have different blades on it and things. I don't know. Yeah, to take it back to being like a, a loach. A loach, that's, know. yeah. Might be slightly different on that one. It just depends on what how it's moulded with lumps and bumps. But it's definitely we, got a different tail on it. It doesn't have the T-tail. I'm just thinking with Dragon, you know how you normally get extra spruce. Yeah, I was going to say first. it may be that it's got the early version I in that kit. Know, I don't yeah. know do with the helicopters if i'm honest because they're not actually that much in the box if mm -hmm. that makes sense it does look like it is what you need to build but still it's still be an interesting version hmm. yeah definitely uh it's That's an cool. interesting helicopter you do nice weathering with it and all the rest of it with that one yeah so do you get the crew with that one you'll have to see when do a review that's it. What's your space for the review? No, I'm looking no at idea, it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I've got it there, so uh, we will see. It doesn't, I can't see it on that bit of the box, but uh, we'll uh, we'll do the review uh, later on today. So uh, we've got that one down in there as well. So that's all good. And again, the various bits and pieces from Ed are down in here. Beautiful box arts, uh, as we can see. The Jag, obviously, be starting that this week. Might even start that tomorrow which is nice because this one's almost uh, getting near the end. So uh, we'll be doing that one. A vintage Very, classic. A vintage classic, 20 years later, <laughs> does it again. Mm. So uh, do we know whose kit that was? Was that an Esky kit? No, no, that was a Teleri, <laughs> it's definitely a Teleri kit. One of their own, that one. One of uh, them, but, yeah. But yeah, so obviously down in here, we've got the, the section, but as I say, you can grab your bits and pieces all out of that. Very good. Uh, right, over on pre-orders, we've got a new one that came up today. Yep. Okay. Gonna work. There we go. So that's the proper version of a World War II refueling truck. So right. not the one with the big bows of things on, because that's post war. Yeah. This is the one where they did it out the back. So if you want a one seventy second QL, mm -hmm. go with your Spitfires or whatever you're doing REF wise or wherever. So that's the one you want. Very nice. And a bargain yeah. price of just twelve pounds. They're really good little kits, some IBG kits. It is, the IBG yeah. kits are usually lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they are, yeah. Especially the little seven second stuff as well. It's really nice. So, mm. yeah, good price Very as well. I like yeah, it. Quick, quick question is, how do you get in? Because there's a wheel arch in the way. You, you just jump on it. Just, just hop step, up. There's steps there. behind. They would have to be. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know how that was designed, but yeah, you know, younger, fitter, Bloke, <laughs> them, not well, this is it. No, no bookers like us. Mm. Well, yeah, true, probably. Uh, very nice. But anyway, that one is up there. Bargain price, uh, just £12. So if you want to get your pre-order for that one, you can. Uh, I think that's the only new sort of pre-order we've had up this week. Uh, well, no, 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 this stuff, yeah. IBG stuff up. Oh, what, this one? Yeah. Is that the 190s? No, that's the, um, that's the other version of, yeah, that. Ukrainian flanker. Ukrainian it's that's been reboxed with box box decals and some of masks. Mm -hmm. M, M masks or some of M, I can't remember now. I should oh, model maker masks. Model right? maker masks, yeah. that's the one. Now, I can't work out, I know these model maker masks, whether you've got then got an option of decals or you can paint it. 
Mm-hmm. As in, you know, mask it and paint it, or it's decals. I actually don't know what you get in the box for that. Oh, see, so mm-hmm. yeah, I, but yeah. You know what I mean? Hmm. That's a good point. Because Foxbox do the thingy decals, don't they? They do the digital camo decals. So yes. I wonder if you have got a choice of either or you can you do. You can do either or with it, yeah, definitely. But the trunk kit's a nice kit. Yes, definitely. As we said, it is a nice kit. And again, the, some of the proceeds go to the Ukraine. Mm-hmm. It's nice to see. Absolutely. Don't yep. mention what? it. I'll get in trouble again. Go on, Phil. Don't have a rant. <laughs> no, because seriously, we'll need another hour if I start on a rant. And next to it, we've also got the IBG <laughs> FW190. Yes. No, so I this is the D9, it. the long nose one. Yeah. This is two kits in one, so. Yeah. So you get a D9 yeah. and a D11. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the differences between a D9 and a D11 whilst we're at it for today's versions of. I bet, you it's just, I bet you it's just probably a difference in the engine that you tail. probably can't tell unless you take the cowling off. <laughs> oh, yeah, tail, tail looks slightly different, doesn't it? Does it? I, I don't know. It looks the same to me. I have no idea, Nathan. We need Nathan again. Don't yeah, yeah get Nathan in here for that one. I think most of the changes on the Ds were the, the engine and mm. Mm. different mm. superchargers and things and different inlets and outlets. and. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Fair but... They are nice kits, my BG 190s. Hmm. Yes, they are beautiful kits. As I say, yeah. the detail on them, because I did the the normal version, what was it an A5 or whatever it was? Yeah. Um, for the review, the surface detail, oh, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, very nicely done. Yeah. So they're up. So they are. those JB44 ones where they have the um, red and white underside, though, aren't they? For the hmm. very colourful, aren't they? Yeah. First time I think I saw that one was on the old Tamiya kit, wasn't it? Because Tamiya yeah, yes. used to be on the cover of their catalogue, wasn't it? I think yes. it was. And it does stand out. It's a really nice one. And uh, what else do you want to go through? Uh, yeah, we've done that one. Uh, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's about it. We've still got some of those running. Obviously, the ICM mm-hmm. 29 and I think there's a few others up there. But yeah. The uh, models, Cosworth, Santworth still going. Cosworth, that was it. Yeah, the Sierra Cosworth is still up. So yeah, if you want any, get your name down. Yes, absolutely. Pop your name down and uh, obviously don't take payment until they arrive. All right, so we've got those ones. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Right, should we pop over to questions? Yeah, ask questions. Questions. Okay, so Carlos says, Hi team, uh, watched Tuesday vlog on AK Chrome and saw that you mentioned uh, you've uh, discontinuing several sanders. Are these being replaced with new ones? Uh, and if so, what's the difference? <sighs> Uh, we're discontinuing the sanders as they sort of uh, run out. Uh, are we going to be replacing them? We don't know yet. Um, as I say, the jewellery's out on that one. Uh, as I say, it's just it's with everything going up in costs, uh, manufacturing and having to get them from the other side of the planet is just uh, a little bit of a minefield at the moment. So, But we've got tons and tons and tens of thousands in stock. So don't think we're running out of any time soon of all the other bits and pieces because we've literally got thousands and thousands. So uh, I won't worry about it for the moment. You'll be fine. Uh, Chris says, hello, chaps. Uh, will you be happening to be ordering in the AFB Club F5E Sundowners kit? The E is the single seat, isn't it? That's been really hard to get. We've had the other version. We've yeah. got a Sundowners kit in, but is that the two-seat one we've got? Yeah, the E and the N, they did it. The AFB kit, and I've got it. It's AR48101 is the single seat uh, version, because we had the F, didn't we, I've in got... stock, which is the two seat. And I'll tell you I've what, it's been really, really hard to get hold of the F, AFB Club F5s. Mm-hmm. So unless they're re-releasing it and it's something I've missed, mm-hmm. if they are coming back out, yes, we will get them in, because they are the best F5s in 48 by a country mile, aren't they? Let's yeah. be honest. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful kits. Really, they're really, really nice, nice kits. Um, mm-hmm. I just, I can't even remember where I've seen them two-seat ones. And just, I think I rang you and said, shall I grab some? And you goes, yeah, get them. Cause yeah, they're absolutely, because they're really good kits. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the F. So, don't forget, the other thing as well, Academy's Korean one, which we've got in stock, haven't we? I think we've got, yeah, we ain't got many left. We haven't though. got many. We did get a load in because it's the same kit. It's the it's AFV just... kit, in it? Yeah. Um, yeah, and, it um, yeah. And you get loads of decals for it because obviously just yeah. take all the... 
the kit what you know kit decals if you mm. don't that one there's absolutely loads of aftermarket decals and loads of aftermarket so yeah if you are having trouble getting older get the academy it's the korean version uh, yeah. it's republic of korea markings on the box i did yeah. have it i sold it in an auction i think because i've got the, the the normal version if you like but yeah. i bought it to see if it was the same one and it is so yeah. it's exactly the same kit I'm showing two of them in stock so all oh, right so there we go so yeah go and grab one of those and uh joey says hi guys i've just placed my first order for the ghost of kiev and was wondering if you can add extra items once it is available yeah you just message um Andy, and then we'll sort it from there yes what yeah, you so want. send message and when you get your invoice from andy yeah yeah message just... him back and say and then what we can do is sort out the postage isn't it yeah. yeah the easiest way to do it is if you message me when when I've given you the invoice, you paid your invoice. Just then, mess order order your stuff on the site. Give me the order number that you've ordered, and then we'll just refund you one of the postages mm -hmm. to make it round put together. Yeah, keeps our stock levels. Yes. Yes. Yeah, otherwise, it throws right. the stock right. levels if we try and do it the other yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, Trevor says, uh, "Is there a product I can use to get paint to stick to soft, rubbery type tracks?" like Dragon or ICM use, I use acrylic paint. Yeah, there's a million dollar question. It's always mm. trouble with them, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the best way to do it. Because I've used rubber band tracks, but normally the um, the kind of, I mean, I've, I've painted with Tamiya paint, but if you, you know, lacquer kind of got a bit of a better grip than acrylic, where acrylic just kind of flakes. Yeah. Um, even if you give them an aerosol can, it, it kind of, it's not flexible, is it? No. Yeah, I'm trying to think the best way to actually do it. it the best way is probably to paint them how you would paint them, put them on, and then you mm. touch up. Yeah, to be honest, off. I was ho I'm glad you said that, because that would be my answer, is to yeah. put them on, and the bits that flake off and look a bit, but once it's on, retouch them up once it's on there. But yeah. I was hoping somebody might have a better answer. <laughs> to be honest, but, yeah it's one of them where my mind's gone blank on how to on how to do it i don't think to be honest the later plastic no like the d the because i used them on my sherman no them ds ones is it they call it ds yeah, the, the, the light the light not, ones. yeah mm. they've not flaked at all yeah. they, mm. they've been absolutely perfect stuck with normal glue and i think tamia's new vinyl tracks stick with normal glue yeah i think they're a different product to when they're back in the 70s you know when they used to be really Hmm. yeah also the other thing maybe is to wash the tracks before you do yeah. it some of them you know yeah. might have release agent on them yeah. and then that just things don't stick to give them a good old scrub in soapy water rinse them off let them air dry and it might be worth just give them a light rub with a sander before you paint them to give them a bit more grip yeah, and probably so, is, so it can hold on a bit better yeah probably. i think it's, um, it's biggest problem is it's using acrylic paints isn't it because like i said it's got no nothing grip. to bite into it has it mm. Mm. Or unless you could take them outside and use, like I say, use a an aerosol primer mm. just to prime them with, so give you so it etches yes. into the surface. Yeah. But personally, the way I've always done it is with the bits that flake off, and it's happened to me as well. I just touch in with a brush. It's normally around the sprockets, isn't it? It's going to do it where yeah. it bends over and it cracks. So sometimes, you know, literally just pick off the bits that have flaked off and just touch them in with a brush, uh, and you'd be absolutely fine with it. So. I um again you've got to think you're going to weather them anyway. Mm, yeah. Tracks get dirty anyway, so you're going to cover it a little bit with if you're doing the weathering products um mm. to disguise it. That's the one sort of way yeah. in it in tea you can well, disguise that's it. it. That's bit. what I normally do with the linky bit where it joins a bit of extra weathering on there and stuff just to hide it away, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Peter says, hi Phil, I uh, hope all is well. Is there any update on the delivery date for the 32nd scale Zukomori Hartman uh, 109 yet? I've chased it up actually because, I'll, as usual, I've had a, my phone's just gone off there from <laughs> said person, shall we say. Said supplier. He'll watch, he'll watch this later. I know. Yeah. But, um, I, I think he's got a, there's a delivery coming, but I don't know when. And I mm -hmm. think not that. But I'll find out for sure. I'll, I will love it ask hmm. cool we'll find out for you okay keith says hi team really enjoying uh the not quite a vlog show uh although do miss the weekly thursday night show uh, i have to say uh, i understand your reasoning 
you mentioned about doing a group build for the Esky as a nostalgia uh, build, which is obviously not one that would be able to join in. Uh, I don't have any old kits in my stash. Uh, even the Tamiya 88 Flak was bought uh, last year, uh, an old kit definition as it was originally in the 80s boxing. Uh, but uh, it got me thinking about uh, the thought of when a SIG are going to be some kind of discount on the blah 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 kits uh, for these bases. Not necessarily by manufacturer but by subject matter. For example, say an 80s SIG you offer a discount from 80s kits that PM stock uh, for a few weeks. Uh, it might gain a bit more uh, interest, potentially increasing sales. I appreciate the margins are tight uh, and that I'm running a business uh, and not a charity. But if you had enough sales, potentially, it could then uh, all the consumables and sanders, paints, glues, brushes, uh, etc. Uh, that go with it. Just a thought. Uh, but keep up the great work. It's because of your lockdown shows I regained my interest in modelling. Uh, other questions mainly for Phil. Do you still build Gundam kits? <laughs> there you go. I could talk about Ukraine and Gundam kits. There's a day. Uh, yeah, funny enough. I tell you what is funny that obviously people don't realise probably is that I did rebuild that kit off camera. Purely. I killed it. I did. I shot it. It got blown up. Literally. <laughs> But Why did I you actually... film it in slow mo? You should have set your camera up in slow mo mode and filmed it as you blew it up. Yeah. Don't be showing off, Andy, with your gun dams. I really got... enjoyed doing them. Yeah, I painted it though. I know. Well, the idea is, is I'm going to strip him down. <laughs> well, take him apart again and do it. Yeah, repaint him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But no, I actually rebuilt that said kit for my own personal thing. But as I say, for the amount of flack, and if you don't know, it just turns into a complete, excuse my French, shitstorm on the internet. Because apparently I painted on the sprues, which means I didn't take it seriously building the kit. <sighs> anyway, I'm not going down that route again. Back, but basically I got flamed on the internet for not giving it my full attention and all the rest of it and taking shortcuts and stuff. Yeah, all I was trying to do was to give exposure to Gundam kits because we don't really do them on the site. Not many people build them uh, and stuff. But yeah, so that's what it was. So I decided I'll get one in and we'll build it, but got absolutely hammered on the net. So after it was done, I did the quick reveal. It went outside and got, well, I was shooting at that point, got shot to shit. Uh, but then I got said kit sent to me by a very nice person who remained nameless uh, and I rebuilt it purely for me and all the rest of it and it's one of those ones and then he had the kit back off to me after I built it thoroughly enjoyed it fantastic amazing yeah, like, well, I think you know they're, they're all Bandai aren't they the Bandai yeah, it's a Bandai engineer. kit so you, yeah. and as I say the, the goal, best engineering yeah, you will ever find I still don't understand how they can do it with a hand worked in a one piece uh, injection molded it's it, yeah. it blows my mind how they make it work yeah um, but yeah anyway it was and it's a fantastic and they are amazing kits I think they're brilliant I think Andy's he finished one a few months back or yeah. he's still finishing one a few months back and uh, you know they are they, there's no doubt about it and I've often said if Bandai did plastic kits and stuff it would be absolutely amazing so yes that's my tale with uh, Gundam kits uh, so yes anyway he says on there that he's seen uh, uh, he goes I'm thinking of having a go but he's looked them on YouTube and they actually look like toys Andy do you look like a toy yeah. I'll yes, tell you it what. Hey, um, <laughs> you thought you just upset the Gundam community. Good luck yeah. with that, Keith. I'm afraid. To, to, to yeah. be fair, because because of the subjects they are, mm. you can do some fantastic weathering and painting on them. I yes. think out of the box, yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah, if you don't paint them, yeah. then yeah, they do look yeah. like toys. But, but as I say, yeah. you can. The great thing with um, Gundam and Gunpla and all the rest of it is that if you're not following along as is like the cartoon series and all the thing goes with it you could then put your own stamp on it and do whatever weathering you want to it and I've seen ones that look like you know completely rusted out and massive yeah. weathering effects on them um, you know and stuff like that and they look absolutely fantastic yeah. and to be honest my one was going to go through full weathering afterwards yeah. clearly it didn't because it didn't live that long but, um, you know, that was my whole point to it. That's why I wasn't really worried too much about the painting stage, even though mine was all fully painted, um, because it was going to be fully weathered. But obviously people didn't give me a chance really to finish it. I mean, I built this 
so it can come to come to come, come to pieces. Hmm. It's very little glue. I mean, the shoulder pads I glued together and took all the seam lines out because they they were obviously very obvious. But again, they come off in one piece and the one colour anyway. Mm-hmm. But the idea is to take this all apart. Very well, good. Take it all apart and then you know repaint it and so like you know and reweather it and make it look interesting. So you know, even before the part, you know. got a thing like we've said before about the, uh, like Gundam and Gunpla and all that. Like it's a very Japanese sort of w- w- what they aim for the market, isn't it? Mm. You know, yeah. you can get it obviously from over you know over here and in the states and stuff. Don't get me wrong, they do sell it, but it's it's very aimed at the Japanese market, like the mm-hmm. Japanese companies do. So. Um, I've seen some where they've done dioramas with them and stuff as well. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, you know, they've done. They, they do look really cool. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I don't think they're a massive seller over here, if I'm honest. But I don't know if that is because we struggle to get them as well. I was going to say we can, so, we uh, looked uh, into we it and it's yeah. Retail point of view, whether it's you know just Bandai in general getting Bandai is is hard work. So hmm. if you can get it at all, so um, I, I don't know how big the the actual genre is over here. It could be massive, and I don't know about it. I don't want to sit and go. Oh, it's only a tiny little proportion of the of the work, you know modeling world in the UK. I don't know. It could be huge. Mm. And, and like I say it's not something we really deal with, is it? It's not our not our thing at PM models. So go and get one. What you got to lose? You can pick yeah, and say, up it's, stuff. You, you can, can get do what you like with them. That's the thing. I know. I've yeah. um, Similar to Andy's, I had one a few years ago, but it's an older kit, a very older kit, but it still clicked together, it still moves, it's articulated, and it was, it was quite a fun thing to do. I think I did it on holiday once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Usual tech summit on holiday to build. Yeah, it's also worth looking at the um, Hasegar and Wave Machine Krieger hmm. subject as well, because they, they're sort of, yeah. Yeah, they, they sort, of, sort of seem to be very 1947 46 hmm. yeah gen, sort of like designs aren't they yeah yeah they're sort yeah. of like what ifs aren't they yeah. yeah 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 they're good yeah so. but no but again I, you know as i say i'm just going to say this before i get flamed uh again but you know they are fantastic amazing kits they go together exceptionally well uh if you've ever built like a bandai star wars type kit it's that on steroids obviously they do different versions of the kits like you get the master grade ones which i was working on which is about this tall with all his stuff on he's like this uh they're huge they're very expensive but they are absolutely amazing but the great thing is like we've spoken about bandai before the way that they engineer their kits means that you don't need glue or very little if you're going to at all uh but also seam lines are all hidden they're all layered so it, it works in a way that there's no seam lines or anything else like that um, and they are absolutely phenomenal just the engineering is off the chart you know it, it's some of the finest engineering i've ever seen on a kit yeah. so but it's yeah. like it, it's just you know from our point of view it's not a big thing we do here um you know but there's sites out there on the internet and obviously on oh, know, social yeah. media and stuff which are massive on it so you're probably better off having a look at those yeah, yeah. it's worth, worth doing your research on the like phil said the different grades Hmm. of the diff because then they come in like say the different sizes and yeah for prices because it can be hundreds of pounds can't oh it? they run yeah that's it there's some of them at hundreds of pounds and others are very you know good value so yeah anyway you said it's also you're all professionals to in the hobby no way yeah, okay <laughs> just uh, go back to his actual original question aren't we really because we kind of skipped over it best thing to do if you want an older kit is just to go to the second hand market we obviously esk is defunct for us we can't get esky kits Mm. Um, we can get the, there is reboxes out there from Italy and, and other companies, but you know it's like when we're talking about Monogram. Mm-hmm. Monogram again is a defunct company now, so their molds, unless it's getting released by Ravel, say, yeah, we can't get we we don't deal in second hand kits, but there's a lot of specialists out there that do, so just shop around and do it. Mm. Yeah, you know, um, it, we, and anyway, just don't take it gospel what we said yesterday. It was just an idea that when we, we were talking that we might mm. do next year a nostalgia sig or whatever yeah. we're going to name it just you know because there is people out there with older kits in the stash as, absolutely as the yeah. many photos that come in of people showing us which is showing us their old stashes all these and stuff. monogram ones we've had and then we've had some from people's got esky aren't they esky yeah we saw that yesterday as well yeah so, and um and shows what so be nice an excuse for them to build it because i other mm. think because they've been superseded them kits will they ever get built no, this is it. 
you know, yeah. because there's better kits out there now and newer kits that uh, will, you know, more detail, probably easier to build. Mm -hmm. Our thing was is like pr kind of going back to basics, weren't it? With it? Yeah, yeah. You know, you going back, building them as you would have done back in the day instead well, of not, not quite that badly. Well, no, quite. Yeah, we're not all about pegs and uh, old glue, glue, glass, glass, and <laughs> you know, glass, yeah. glue marks and everything. Yeah. No, um, yeah. But yeah, watch this space. Something yeah. might come up on that for next year. Yeah. But anyway, said about us because we're hobbies and special. What do we actually build for fun? Stuff that we don't see on camera. Pretty much see everything on camera. Yeah. Uh, be it planes, trains, or automobiles, or even sci-fi. There's not enough time in the day to not show it on camera, is it, or to have it on one of the shows or something. Hmm. I have a lot of stuff on the phone, but, but I'm now I show it in a vlog now. Hmm. Yeah. The amount of vlogs is literally probably what I'm building. Yeah. Um, there is a lot. Even looking around here, there's like bits off sort of going. But when I get back on it, hmm. I'll show it on the vlog. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Hmm. Mine, yeah, sorry. I say mine normally gets picked up on one of the shows, like, you know, Thursday show or something, what I haven't built for the past six months. Well, what are you working on still? He painted it. <laughs> Some more yeah, paint. Look. Ooh. Got Getting paint there. Decals. How many decals you got on it? About 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unlike this thing, a freaking hundreds. <laughs> That's not bad uh, for, a, for a weekend build, though, is it? It's taken me no, around. that's it. For a weekend build that we started when? Easter, wasn't it? Easter, yeah. Yeah, we're now we're nearly... We're in May now. <laughs> yeah, nearly at the Queen's Jubilee back holiday. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but for me, the only thing I do that I don't show on camera, or I do occasionally, is I do one-to-one um, -one scale film props and stuff like that, mainly Star Wars, if I'm honest, and those types of things. So I've done blasters and stuff, and I've shown... I did Han Solo's blaster as a one-day build type thing. And I showed uh, the bowcaster beginning of last year, was it? Yeah, uh, we had that up there, Chewie's bowcaster I did, but I do that. So which are either 3D printed or resin and things like that, and put those together. But as I say, it's not something that we do really here. So I've shown a couple of them and they don't get that much interest. So I do them for my own time, which is nice because they go together a hell of a lot quicker when you haven't got to film it and edit it. <laughs> and move the lights and the cameras around so I'm normally to be honest that's why I've got bigger equipment behind me for doing that so uh, it makes it a lot easier so yes cool right and uh, I've lost my mouse where's my mouse here we go uh, da, 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 da. hi guys with the ghost of Kiev in 72nd now as a pre-order with IBG from Trumpeter do you know of any other kits being produced to aid the Ukrainian people well, That's from um, Graham, not me. Master box of doing them soldiers, aren't they? The Ukrainian. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I don't know when they do out, to be perfectly honest, but they're doing a set, and I, I don't know of anything else, to be honest. I think, you know, if you buy ICM, Master Box, Mini Art, whatever, then you're supporting the Ukraine, aren't you? You're putting mm. money into the economy. Yeah. So there is the boxing of the MiG 29, but I can't see that one getting used to help the Ukrainian people, so. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on quick. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, Russell says, uh, last question. Uh, I'm looking to build a Hurricane Mark II, 48 scale. Are the Hasegawa kits the only Mark IIs available? Yep. Yes. Weirdly, again, we, we've yeah. had this conversation a lot. The Mark II sees with the cannons and all the rest of it. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's, yeah. Yeah. But we are waiting. Hopefully, the big one that will come along is supposed to be the Armour Hobby's new 48 scale Hurricane yeah. Mark II C and yeah. B, with any luck and all the rest of it. They've slated it and they it was spoken about only last week, was it? They did a press release saying that they've got a couple of bits on the way, then hopefully that'll be back on track. So, yeah, they're Japanese planes out, isn't it? Or literally yeah. a drop. Hmm. And I've heard, the, was it the back end of the year the Hurricanes do? Yeah, yeah. Because it's been moved a few times, so hopefully it'll stick to it, and we'll get it by at least autumn. Hmm. And then, and then we'll, I think once that's in the pipeline, then we'll get some other versions of it, like they did with the Mark Ones and the and the Mark Twos and the seventy second version. So yeah, and then obviously you've got the thirty second Ravel one do out, haven't we? Yeah. Yes. At yeah. some point, so that will be easier. that's due this year with any luck. So I've built the Hasegawa Mark Two, but I can't remember what it was like. Hmm. Hasegawa probably. Yeah, probably normal has a gower, you know, with their kits. You know what you're going to get with those, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah. 
David says, hi both, I uh, hope you're keeping well. I've got the BOA decals for a 144 Boeing 737-500, the short one. The decals instructions recommend using Skyline Kit or Deco setting solutions. Can you source either of these or can you recommend another 737-500 manufacturer as I can't find one? I'm not up on airliners to be honest. The only people who do airliners that I know of is Vesda. Yeah. And if they do one of them in whatever scale that was. What scale was it? One one four four, was it? Yeah. So no, because they're different scale anyway. They don't do it in that scale, do they? They do it. But in one. also the five hundred series, as it say, it's the real stumpy seven three seven, isn't it? It's the the real yeah. ickle one. So I don't know if anyone does it. I must admit, airliners are not my area at all. No. No, nor me. Mm. No. If that's what it recommended, then that must be what it was for. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking right. to see. And it's googling. Oh, mm. you know yeah, but it's not coming up with anything really. No. Mm. Yeah, a bit of a weird one that one. As I say, you should say I don't know about Skyline, and you know, Deco. Do they do kits? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I thought they were decals and. I thought they did decals and books. Yeah. Perhaps they <laughs> so, did. I don't it's... know. Or perhaps it's perhaps it's the Skyline kit reboxed. Yeah, maybe. Wait, I found a new tool in by a company <laughs> called Eastern Express. <laughs> Eastern Express. There you go. They do airliners. Yeah. 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 They do it, but where you can get it from, I don't know. Mini Art used to do them back in the day as well, wasn't it? Don't know if they still do. Oh, Mini, Mini, yeah, that, yeah not Mini Art, so the one. Not mini it? Art, yeah, Mini somebody or other. The one who you've got that KC thing on your shelf, who is that? Mini. Uh, Mini, mini craft is it mini craft yeah academy mini craft it's mini craft isn't it ah. yeah yeah hold on put your, okay. put your binoculars on I, can't, I need binoculars to read it it's very small it's too far away and i'm attached <laughs> oh, uh, uh, eastern express are they arc models are they yeah it's mini craft unfortunately you might struggle to get them mm. yeah 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 because they can't be imported no due so to we're... tactical reasons Best thing to do again, like we've just said, is ever scoot round Tinterweb, as in eBay or second-hand sellers. I'm not going to advertise for them, but yeah, there's a few out there and have a look to see if it, or we'll put a shout out on forums and somebody might have one. Mm, definitely. Best, best thing to do, isn't it? But we can't get it by sounds of it, no. 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 He says, also, finally, are we gonna get, will we be getting any Mr. Finishing Surfacer Blacking? When it's been stopped, we will, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we, they've not, nobody's got any, and nobody's got any rapid thinner either. So, again, we're just waiting for restocks from suppliers. Mm -hmm. If we're out of stock, look, I'll, I'll say this now if we are out of stock of Mr. Hobby products, mm -hmm. yeah, it's because our suppliers haven't got them, it's not because we've not ordered them. Yeah. So, you know, and it's same with Tamiya. Mm hmm. And probably same with AK and everything, the paints and all that and the attacker. If we are out of stock on the site, it's because, you know, we're either waiting for an order to come in or the suppliers are out of stock. Because hmm. we yeah. do pretty regular sort of orders with them to keep, you know, yeah. to try and keep them in stock. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Fine. Right. Okay, okay then, guys. That would do us for today, I think. All good. Job. Heavy editing involved with this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah that's it the show's probably only half hour long because we sat here for two hours it's fine <laughs> we have to do an unedited version no we'll just bore everyone to death with that anyway right we will leave it right there don't forget there is no evening show tomorrow night but uh matt has got uh next part of his wimmick build up with us tomorrow yeah and a vlog and a vlog we got a little vlog from matt as well as i say i'm going to do the review of that huey's 500 so that'll be up either today or tomorrow as well so we'll get that one up we can have a good look at that particular kit to make our way through and the next part of the f15 will be up with you on friday as well for members and obviously we've got the recap show as well on there cool job right if we are all done we will leave it right there don't forget get all your bits and pieces as always over at the pm store all your paints sundries tools and all your other stuff that goes with your kits as well uh yep. keep an eye out for new arrivals throughout the week as well so till next week everybody happy modeling take care goodbye Bye. Bye.